this video, let's learn about the muscle deltoid. The deltoid is a 3 in 1 muscle. It is a thick, powerful and curved triangular muscle that covers the shoulder and it forms its rounded contour. The deltoid is in a shape of the inverted Greek letter delta. The deltoid muscle is divided into three parts, the anterior unipinnate, the posterior unipinnate and the middle multipinnate part. So this is the anterior side and the posterior. Coming to the origin of the deltoid, the deltoid has a V-shaped origin from the subcutaneous bony arch that is formed by the lateral one-third of the clavicle and from the acromion process and the remaining from the crest of the spine of the scapula. The anterior unipinnate part arises from the upper surface of the anterior border of the lateral third of the clavicle. The middle multipinnate part arises from the lateral margin and the upper surface of the acromion process. So this is the middle multipinnate part. And this is the posterior unipinnate part. It arises from the lower lip of the crest of the spine of the scapula. So these three are the origins of the deltoid. So this red line indicates the origin of the anterior unipinnate part. So this indicates the acromion process and this is the origin of the middle multipinnate part. So this red color is the crest of spine of the scapula and this is the origin of the posterior unipinnate part. In this diagram, this is the spine of the scapula, the acromion process and the clavicle. And coming to the insertion, the fibers converge inferiorly to form a short thick tendon which is inserted onto a V-shaped deltoid tuberosity or the tubercle on the lateral aspect of the mid shaft of the humerus. So this is the mid shaft. The fibers of the multipinnate middle part arises from the four septa. So these are the four septas that comes from the acromion or that are attached to the acromion and these fibers converge onto three septas of the insertions. So these are the three septas of the insertion which are then attached to the deltoid tuberosity or the tubercle. Due to this multipinnate arrangement, the middle acromion part of the deltoid is the strongest part. So this is the strongest part. Now coming to the nerve supply, the deltoid is supplied by the axillary nerve that arises from the C5 and C6. To know about the axillary nerve, click on the i button to watch my video. Now coming to the actions, the anterior clavicular fibers are the flexors and medial rotators. So these are the flexors. And the medial rotators. The posterior or the spinous fibers are the extensors and the lateral rotators of the arm. Coming to the clinical testing of the deltoid, the deltoid can be easily seen and felt to contact when the arm is abducted against resistance. And the clinical correlation, the deltoid is the main site of the intramuscular injections. The intramuscular injections are commonly given in the lower half of the deltoid to avoid the injury to the axillary nerve as the axillary nerve winds round the surgical neck of the humerus. So in the actual clinical practice, the intramuscular injection is given 
in the upper outer quadrant of the deltoid region. Now let's talk about the structures that are under cover of the deltoid. The bones that are under the cover of deltoid are the upper end of the humerus and the coracoid process. The joint and the ligament. The shoulder joint or the glenohumeral joint and the coracoacromial ligament. And the bursae that are around the shoulder joint, the bursae are subscapular, subacromion, subdeltoid and the infraspinatus. Now coming to the muscles that are under cover of the deltoid. The first one is the insertion and the origin. So the muscles inserted below the deltoid are the pectoralis minor, pectoralis major, teres major, latissimus dorsi, subscapularis, supraspinatus, infraspinatus and the teres minor. So you can remember it as pectoralis minor, pectoralis major, teres minor and teres major, subscapularis that means below the scapula, supraspinatus below the spine of the scapula and infraspinatus and the last muscle is the latissimus dorsi. So these are the insertions. So the origins are of the long head of biceps. Short head of biceps, coracobrachialis, and the long and lateral heads of the triceps. The vessels. The vessels that are under the cover of deltoid are the anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery and the vein. So the nerves under the deltoid are the axillary nerve and the spaces are the quadrangular space and the triangular subscapular intermuscular spaces. So guys, this is all about the origin, insertion, nerve supply, clinical aspect and the structures under cover of deltoid. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.